If this is your first time on the channel, make sure to be hitting that notification bell and subscribe because I'm dropping a new video all about living in St. Louis every single week so you can figure out what it is to live, sleep, and play here in St. Louis. And I want to hear from you. What do you think the average rent is within St. Louis, Missouri? So drop a comment down below what you think the average rent is. And if you want to share, say what you're spending on your mortgage or rent every single month. Just just to have a good comparison of what it's like here in St. Louis compared to other areas. A few months ago, my wife and I visited friends who live in LA and it was my first time being west of the Rocky Mountains and I was absolutely flabbergasted with California. Yes, I saw gorgeous views, beautiful weather, and took in the culture, but what was jaw-dropping for me were the prices. Coming from the Midwest, specifically St. Louis, Missouri, everything costs so much more in California. Every state and city is different, so I wanted to share with you what to expect to pay when living in St. Louis. Hi, my name is Nathan. I'm a local realtor here in St. Louis, and maybe you're tired of paying $15 for a beer, giving 40% of your income to the government, or wanting to buy a house that's under a million dollars. No matter what your reason is for moving, here's what to expect with your pocketbook when living in St. Louis. Overall, the cost of living in St. Louis is under the national average. The cost of living index is only 91.2, which means something that costs $100 on average in the United States, it only costs $91 in St. Louis. This factors in things like health, utilities, transportation, groceries, and housing, which the cost of living index for homes in St. Louis is only 82, meaning homes are 18% cheaper here to buy in St. Louis than the average in the United States. So how much does it cost to buy a home? Well, the median, aka middle, home price in St. Louis for 2021 was $250,000. The national median home price was $375,000. That pretty much says it all, right? <laughs> I mean, home prices are cheaper here in St. Louis and means that you can find a larger home for cheaper and means it's likely better to buy a home than to rent here in St. Louis. The average three bed rental last year was only $1,200. And while rent prices are low compared to other cities, it's still usually cheaper to buy a home than to rent specifically in the St. Louis market. Obviously home prices depend on the neighborhood, but you can find a three bed home under 300,000 mostly throughout the entire St. Louis metro area. How much do you pay in taxes in St. Louis? This is important, okay? St. Louis is both in Illinois and in Missouri, divided by the Mississippi River. And roughly 400,000 of the 2.8 million people in the St. Louis metro area live in Illinois. And taxes are extremely different in Illinois compared to Missouri. The average property tax rate in Illinois is 2.16% meaning every year you're paying over 2% of your property's value in taxes. On the Missouri side though, the average tax rate is only 1.2%. For an average home, this usually equates to spending thousands of dollars just to live on one side of the river. In St. Louis, the income tax burden is around 9.2%, which ranks in the middle of the US. On the high end, New York tops out at 14% and Texas is on the lower end and at 8% just for comparison. One thing to know is St. Louis City, which is the center of St. Louis and home to only 300,000 people, requires a flat 1% income tax if you work or live within the city limits. But 
this tax isn't all bad because it does have its benefits, which I will be talking about in a hot second. How much does it cost for entertainment living in St. Louis? Well, besides living in your home and working to pay the government, you'll likely want to do some fun activities. And it's not too expensive within St. Louis. Remember that 1% income tax for people that live and work in St. Louis City? Well, that funds a lot of public things in St. Louis, most notably Forest Park, which has the zoo and the Muni, the largest outdoor theater, the Science Center, and the History and Art Museums, which are all free. Fantastic for kids uh, who are learning about the culture, um, or also fantastic for date nights. And going out for the night isn't really too expensive either, obviously depending on your taste. But happy hours can be around only three to five dollars per drink, and a decent burger will be just around ten dollars in St. Louis. Most places also have free parking or reasonably priced parking under ten dollars. So a night out is much cheaper than in larger cities. So what do you spend money on living in St. Louis that you might not spend in other places? Well, you'll need a car. St. Louis doesn't have great public transportation except in a few neighborhoods. It's difficult to get around if you don't have a car and many people prefer to have a garage because it does get cold in St. Louis. Nothing like Chicago or New York, but it's not fun scraping ice off of your windshield at seven in the morning when you're already running late for work. <laughs> St. Louis doesn't have harsh summers like Arizona where you'll need to be replacing your AC or roof very frequently and we don't have absolutely cold winters like Wisconsin where you'll need to own a snowblower or a heating torch just to defrost your door handle but we do have four seasons and you'll need to plan on spending money accordingly. Usually that means having a home with good insulation so your cool air doesn't escape in the summer and you keep your home warm in the winter. You also got to plan to have heavy coats but also plenty of flip flops for going to the pool in the summer. Is St. Louis the cheapest city in the United States? No, but it's a big city that has everything a big city has and at a cheaper price than most cities in the United States. States. If you're not turned off by our cost of living here in St. Louis and still interested in living here, my number is down below. I get calls every day of people wanting to lower their monthly expenses and move to St. Louis. And if you're not sure, check out these other videos to see if St. Louis is truly the right fit for you.